I'm back, second graders. When I went to wash my brushes, I realized I did have an extra plate that has to have a second coat of paint put on it. So, this would be um, the next day. You know, not the same day because we have to let it dry. But it's going to, we'd have the same setup. The paint on a paper towel on top of one of our palettes and four brushes with the same four colors because we're going to have to go over these again. Um, I'm only going to go over a couple of the colors instead of going all the way out to the end. You'll get the idea if I just do it a couple, couple of colors. So I'm going to start with my orange in the middle and then paint that. And by the way, when you're doing the second um, coat of tempera paint, your paint actually goes on and starts to dry pretty quick. For some reason, just you know, going on top of another color um, underneath, it doesn't take as much time because the other um, when you're when you don't have any paint underneath, it's soaking into your paper plate. Right now, it's just mixing or sitting on top of another coat of temper paint, so it goes pretty fast. So I'm just going to switch to yellow. We've got that orange on there. Now we're going to go to yellow. Um, just like I like I did on the last um, the last one, I'm going to take my yellow and go right up close, but not touching yet on my orange. You might see through it a bit because the yellow is very transparent, which means it's kind of see-through. So we'll get as close as we can, and then we'll give it a little overlap. And I always like to keep my brush going in a circle when I'm doing this. Then I don't have to worry about, have I touched another color? Is it going to get, um, you know, on the other side of my brush? Whatever. So, there I have my yellow. There's that. And now I'm going to go around, just overlap a little bit, and keep going, just so you get that little bit of overlap with your colors. And you, like I said, do not have to do this. You can try it if you want. It is a little tricky. I only learned how to do that really when I was, uh, after I'd been painting a lot of oil paint. And I thought, oh, you can do the same thing with temper paint. We're just go. Cool. All right, so there's that. That's your second, um, your second time of painting it. So it'll be a much brighter color. Um, your patterns will show up a whole lot better after that.